for that win. Tell me Thank a little you. bit about just uh, getting that victory on the road and, and being able to kind of fight off uh, Western Kentucky because they never gave up on y'all. Yeah, it was a great win. Um, Coach emphasized on the previous two games before that we weren't doing such a great job on defense, but we were happy to come out the way we came out and get the dub. It was a really big win for us and it was a great way to start off the year. Just talk a little bit about being at home and uh, kind of playing, uh, opening up here. You've been practicing in this gym for a long time just to be able to play a real game in it. Yeah, it's a little exciting because, like, especially for me, because this is going to be my first game here in this arena. And I'm pretty sure the fans are going to be here loud, and that's all. That's exactly what we need. So it's going to be a great atmosphere and a great experience, which we hope for all year, especially when we're winning. If we're winning, it's going to be fun. What, what's your experience like with this team? I mean, you come in as a grad transfer, uh, so you got one year. Do you feel like there's just a lot of pressure to try to get a lot of stuff done that you want to get accomplished in a year? Not at all, to be honest. I really think I had a lot of pressure on me at New Mexico State the first four years I was there. This is like a fresh new start. I'm just happy the way things are. And like, it's real, it's real, like playing the first game at home, like, can you repeat the question? The last well, part? it was just about you have one year here. Mm -hmm. uh, how are you enjoying it? I mean, are you enjoying it? Is it how different is it? Yeah, it's, it's totally different because it's a fresh new start and being a leader on a team more of a than more than a follower. It's a, it's kind of a diff different story because I've experienced a lot over the past four years with a lot of different leaders at New Mexico State, and it's finally good to be one here and then see how far we can make it as a team. And how has your career up to this point helped you in a game like Western Kentucky? Uh, 31 total fouls called against you. You had the lead, and then, you know, for a little there, little there, it looked like it might go away, but you were able to hold on. It helps a lot. It helps a lot. I've been to get, been in plenty of games just like that. It wasn't. I was cautious the whole time. Basketball is a game of runs. We had our run to start the game. They had theirs at the end of the game. We had ours, and we came out with the dub. So I was just relaxed the whole time. It was just another basketball game for me. I can't really say for the rest of the guys, but it seemed like everyone was composed the whole time. What about the chemistry with this team? There's a lot of new faces, uh, and it seems like maybe that was a little bit of an issue in that first game, is just trying to find the chemistry. Uh, but did you kind of feel comfortable with the people around you? Uh, I don't think we have a chemistry problem at all, to be honest. Yeah, like, I mean, I the first game, yeah, it's just okay. at all. Like, even though we do have a lot of new guys, it's a lot of great guys on the team, and we all love each other, to be honest. Like, one person will do anything for the next, right beside that locker room. And playing the first game out there, we really didn't really have a chemistry problem, but we were just trying to figure out, especially with Zay coming back, we were just trying to figure out how we were going to play, and it turned out really good because the way we started off. But later on, it kind of slowed down, but we, we, we got the hang of it. All right. Good. Good. Good.